Hey, what is going on, guys? It's Elk on here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys tips and tricks for getting a ton of coins. So that is what we're going to be doing in today's video. If this video does end up helping you. Make sure to smash that like button and click the subscribe button as well for more videos just like this one. Without further ado, let's get right into the tips and tricks. The first tip that we're going to get right into is going to be boss fighting. Now, I don't mean go to every single region and every world and fight the boss one time and then get coins that way and be over. I mean just sitting on one singular boss fight and fighting him over and over. Now, you're probably thinking, Elcon, how am I supposed to do that when I can barely beat him one time? Well, as you keep progressing in the game, you're going to get stronger and stronger, and you're going to be able to grind that boss over and over to get a ton of coins. Now, I'll actually show you how many coins you can get. Now, for example, I'm going to use the Region 3 boss, and I actually get a good amount of coins from him without boost or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and go in and challenge him real quick. Now I'm going to go ahead and skip this part because I highly doubt you guys want to see me beat him, which is not going to take very long, but I'm going to go ahead and skip this part. Now that the boss fight is over, as you can see, I beat him. I'm going to open up the crate and it's going to give me a bunch of coins. So I went ahead and got 122 million coins just from that boss fight. And it literally took me not even 30 seconds to beat that boss. Now, yes, my team is better than a lot of other people's. I will say so myself because I I've grinded a good bit to get to the team I have, but it doesn't really matter which boss you do this over and over with. As long as you could beat him over and over, you will get a ton of coins, and I'm pretty sure you even have a chance of getting boost drops as well, so that is another good way to get a lot of boost. Now that I've shared that tip with you guys, and a lot of you already knew that, let's get right into the next tip that's definitely going to help you out. Now the next tip that we're going to get right into is AF Kang. Now a lot of people already know about AF Kang and how to do it and stuff like that, so this is for the people that do not know how to afk in specific games or just games in general this is a great way to get a ton of coins and when i mean a ton of coins i literally mean a ton of coins i do this strat every single night and i have 400 billion coins right now and it is super easy and simple so what you're going to do is go to any world that you are currently in so right now i'm currently in the last and final world and i'm at region three it does not matter which region you are, just go to the place that you are maxed out in. So say, for example, you are maxed out in the Frozen World and you're stuck on Region 3 or Region 2. So let's just use Region 2, for example. What you're going to do right here is just come up here to the top right hand corner and click this little auto button. Now your bots are going to go to every single enemy in that area and they're just going to destroy it over and over and destroy basically everything around your avatar. And this is a great way to get a ton of coins. Now remember that you can only use this auto button for 20 minutes max. Unless you pull out a regular auto clicker. You can get one online. You just look up on Google and auto clicker for free and download it that way. And all you got to do is set it on your screen. Make sure it's turned on and you'll be able to AFK more than 20 minutes without getting that annoying disconnect timer. And you'll be able to AFK all night or just however long you are away from your computer and you'll come back and have a ton of coins. So I definitely recommend doing this. Like I said, I do it all the time. So make sure to do it and get a ton of coins that way. If this tip didn't help you, then let's get right into the last and final tip. This next tip is gonna be pretty quick and simple. It's not actually something that's super beneficial, but you can do it if you want to. Uh, I like to do it sometimes, but not all the time. This would be involving the miner. Now the miner, you could actually just sit here all day if you wanted to, uh, back to the other tip that I just told you guys about AFKing. You could AFK the miner and get a ton of coins. It just depends on how big your capacity is. So my capacity for my miner is 380 million coins and I get 792,000 every single minute. Yours is obviously going to be different unless you maxed everything out. But this is another good way to get coins, but this is not the last and final tip. The next tip I'm going to show you guys is pretty beneficial, so let's get right into it. The last and final tip that we're going to get right into is going to be the ancient chest. This chest 
only comes, I'm pretty sure, every 30 to 40 minutes, but it is super good for getting a ton of coins. It gives you two minutes on the timer to do as much damage as possible to the ancient chest, and that is how you get a ton of coins. Now, I'm actually going to skip to the part to where the ancient chest is ready, because I think I got like eight more minutes, and I'm going to show you a good strat to getting a ton of coins without having to run around and collect them. I'm just going to show you to sit in one specific spot to where you can collect every single coin that pops out of that chest, and you'll get a ton more coins doing this. So I'll be right back once this ancient chest is ready. Now that the ancient chest is ready to go, let's go ahead and join on in so I can show you guys this quick tip and little trick. So the first thing you wanna do is have your team selected on the, on the chest, of course, to where your team is damaging the chest. Now what you're gonna do from here is actually just walk inside the chest and stand here and you will collect every single coin that pops out of that chest now if i was to walk back here now it's not going to really make a difference for me because i've increased my range on collecting stuff quite a bit but if i was to walk out here a little bit i wouldn't be able to collect them so the best way to collect everything is just stand inside the chest and you will literally collect everything that pops out of this chest also, this chest is super good for getting a ton of coins. Uh, I think I get like maybe 2 billion off this chest every time. Um, it's going to be a lot different for you guys. But like I said, it is very good. So I recommend doing this challenge every single time it pops up. And that is the end of the final tip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you found it helpful. If you guys have any questions regarding any of the tips in today's video, then let me know in the comment section down below. Without further ado, this is the end of the video, so make sure to drop a massive like to show me that you enjoyed it, click that big red subscribe button to support the channel, and click that notification bell to never miss an upload. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Peace out, everybody.